to roll like I've never rolled before. I am Link in The Legend of Zelda. Hi everybody and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host Katie and somehow my make contact gesture triggered the elevator which is kind of amusing. Anyway, we are now on episode 4 of Bloodborne the Old Hunters DLC. In the last episode, we ended off uh, climbing up to the rafters and changing the staircase configuration. So we're basically starting back off on the first floor and finding anything that, uh, collecting all the items that we couldn't access before. And we also see that Simon is here, uh, whereas before he was standing over Ludwig's head. Oh, hello. Oh. Not a pretty sight, is it? The true face of the blood-worshipping, beast-purging, healing church. But that's not all. You seek the secrets held by the nightmare, do you not? I do. Then here's what you must do. Climb the astral clock tower and kill Maria. She hides the real secret. What's interesting is that Maria seems to be a beloved figure because many of the patients, especially the ones that were asking for death, were also calling out for comfort from Maria. So right now she doesn't strike me as evil, but I did forget to say, grab a tasty beverage so we can get started. I am, I'm just so into this that I, I just like want to keep jumping in and keep playing. Go on. Love this game. Kill Maria atop the astral clock tower. She hides the real secret. Go on. She up. Okay. And now we have... These hoppy diddlies. Oh my goodness gracious. Poppy diddlies, by the way, is what I shall call them. And they are moving around the poison, and there's a new item, too, down there, so... A couple new items. Oh god. Lethal damp blood gem. Pardon me. Just gonna get the hell out of there. a little better at this. Got one quick silver bullet. Hi, Tsuki Poo. Missed that one, though. As soon as I say I get better, like, I just don't. So, we need to give, uh, oh, hi, oh, Cosmos, still locked. We need to give the brain fluid to the woman who wanted it. Has someone, anyone, seen my Still say eyes. the same thing. Okay. Hi, baby. What a great time to have a cat on me. All right, well, we killed all these guys, except, a, oh, there is one more item in there. I missed it. Ooh, kin cold blood, which will give me like 10,000 blood echoes. Okay. As you can see, I changed to the beak mask out of my uh, mushy head. I like this look better. Please, could you do something for me? I need brain flu. Give brain flu. Oh, thank you. You're terribly kind. Ugh. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I hear the sticky sound. 
Do you hear it too? <laughs> oh, I know. Will you have my blood as thanks? I'll have you know. Sure. I was once a blood saint too. That makes me happy. But I cannot move. I'm just gonna turn Look, around in case I accidentally kill it. I'm sorry to trouble you. But you don't mind, do you? <laughs> the blood of Adeline. Her name is Adeline. Which is a beautiful name. So, she, uh... Can now hear the murmurs of the Great Ones now that we have given her brain fluid. Oh, there you are. Don't be greedy. As they say, fear the thirst for blood. I should know. I was once a blood saint too. <laughs> oh, don't I should... <laughs> Alright, so to progress her quest, we actually have to use... Uh, her item. Blood of Adeline. Blood taken from Adeline. Patient of the research hall. Restores HP, then continues to rejuvenate HP for some time. Adeline was originally one of the blood saints who received treatment by the church to cultivate worthy blood. Adeline's was one of the few cases that turned out favorably. So we'll go ahead and equip that. I don't really want to waste it, so I don't think I'm going to use it yet. I'll just use it when I have to. And, uh... Oh, I should use it now, huh? Okay. Just in case. Oh, there you don't be quiet. <laughs> okay, so I have to exit and then come back. So this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to. Well, let's see. This might not take any time at all, but we'll see. I should probably just cut. I'll cut, and when we're back talking with Adeline, we will uh. Hopefully she will give us a quest for more brain fluid. So I will see you guys in a second. Okie dokie. I'm back. It's very difficult to write down a timestamp with a cat on your shoulder. Okay, so let's talk to Adeline once more. Former blood saint Adeline. Oh, there you are. How did you find my blood? A touch more? Tasty. Should it please you? Okay, so what I have to do is actually use that. And then probably exit and come back again. Oh, as I was a blood saint, I cannot break the tenets of the church, even for you. Once you've run dry of blood, come visit me again. All right, cutting again. And we're back with Adeline. Oh, hello again. Did my blood ease your hardship? Then do have more. The sticky sound guides me and I have you to thank for it. Lady Maria never approved. But I am proud to have been a blood saint. Interesting, so Lady Maria didn't approve of blood treatment. So we have to use her blood one more time. Exit and come back. So I will see you guys again in a second. Okay. But I'm afraid We're back and Adeline is having a fit. Hello? Is that who I think it is? Please. Oh please, I need brain fluid. The sticky sound is fading fast. Please bring me brain fluid. I must have it. That sound, it is all that guides me. Without it, I'll be sent back to my former, lesser years. Have as much of my blood as you like. Please, I need it. I need your... Okay, so we need to... I'll go ahead and equip that just in case. We need to get her more brain fluid. And hopefully, eventually, we will encounter an NPC we can kill to do so. But for now... For now, I'm a little bit lost. Oh, dear. As someone, I am afraid of 
Well, I mean, why not? Oh, I can't kill him. Okay. So, this staircase has been switched, and now I am not sure... Oh, there is an elevator in her room. That's where we gotta go. Okay. Back we go. And we are going to have... Gatling gun guys. Which I am just going to avoid. Okay, cool. He did. All of these traps have reset. I'll just kill him anyway, so I can get some, uh... Tasty Quicksilver bullets. Oh, he gave me antidotes. How strange. So what we're gonna do this episode is essentially complete Adeline's quest. And, uh, get to the bosses of the research hall. I don't know if I will have time to attempt fighting the first one. Uh, but they're two essentially back to back. So what we need to do is explore all of this research hall. And get everything that we missed before. So I kind of want to start on the lower staircase if possible. But... I don't know. Not sure what the best way to go about this is. Maybe we should just stop at the start at the top and work our way down? Perhaps? Perhaps? Oh, there's a happy kitty on my lap. I have failed. Please, Lady Maria. <laughs> She's failed. <laughs> Well, now you don't need to worry about it. And that is the door to the boss. And she didn't give me brain fluid, so damn. But apparently, I am guessing that she failed to hear the sounds. I'm Like, the brain fluid didn't work on her. All it did was turn her into a monstrosity. And she is upset because Lady Maria is essentially in charge of... Despicable woman. Is in charge of... the research hall and all of its experiments. I think I'm going to have to jump down there, eh? Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Whoa! Hello, you little... Who wants some? Who wants some? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're going to actually just get this item really quickly. And now we have all ah, the lock shield. And a couple of quick silver bullets. So let's take a look at this. It is a left-hand weapon, I believe, and it is one of only two shields in the game. So, you know, Dark Souls is very shield-heavy, but the wooden shield is kind of a joke and doesn't really do much. Then we have the lock shield. An artisanal shield crafted with blue glass, originally used to safeguard the leader presiding over a sacred healing church ceremony and later supplied to tomb prospectors, in particular those exploring, exploring the Labyrinth of Ease. The blue is fashioned after a lake, and the shield greatly reduces all forms of non-physical damage. 
So the great ones um, are aligned with the arcane element, typically, where they have arcane attacks. And as I said in the previous episode, uh, water is a defense. Um, and here we have the lock shield, lock meaning lake. Um, so we have the lake shield that is defense against great ones, which is kind of neat. So I may be using it. I don't know. All right. So we got these two cool things. So let's just keep making our way around. This area isn't as bad as I was expecting it to be at first. Do we want to go right or do we want to go... Let's go right. That appears to take us up to the very next floor and the left one seems to take us higher. Oh god, so many. And if you think I'm going to go up and try and dax... Oh shit. God, they're so fast when they start moving. No! I know. Oh, I should have used the blood of Adeline. Oh well. Habit. Okay. Is it taken care of? He waits ahead. Okay. Quick silver bullets. Doesn't feel like a key. Oh god. That guy again. Whee! Come get me. Come on. Sometimes you have to make the camera look at them. Before they'll actually appear. Come on. Uh oh, I'm stuck. That was very odd. I was hung up. Fun glitch, fun glitch. Alright, let's get these. Quick silver bullets. And the underground cell key. Alright, key waits ahead. Go ahead and up do that. Where's Mr. Key? Here we go. Uh, so let's take a look at that item. Key to the cell below the Grand Cathedral. Hunters are held within the underground cell so that things better left unseen and knowledge better left unknown will decay quietly in the fallow darkness. So, we can go open up one of those cells at some point. Now let's go ahead and make our way up higher. Still need to find more brain fluid. Little frame rate stuttering there. Fourth floor laboratory. Now, I encountered a treasure chest, which I did not uh, open because I had already called into the episode and I figured I could get back there, but I dropped down onto the staircase from the top and hopefully I will still be able to make my way there. So that's just an elevator shaft. Uh, but now I'm a little concerned I won't be able to get what was in the treasure chest and I don't even know what was in it. Um, I just assumed I would be able to get there again and this kind of feels a little stuck. 
Interesting. What do I have to do? Where do I have to go? How do I get back up? Can I jump? It seems to be... I'll probably just have to jump. Well... That didn't work. I wanted to jump on to there. How to get there? It looks to be something as well. I may have to cut here till I figure out where to go. This is very confusing. I still love it, but it's a little confusing. And now I'm upset that I may not get that treasure chest. And I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to just jump into that elevator shaft. Something just tells me. I don't know why he keeps going crazy. It's on a level higher. All right, I'm just gonna cut here until I figure out where to go. Okay, I am bringing you back. I managed to get here uh, to the level that I attempted to jump on before. I still missed the jump, but I landed on the railing and I probably did something I wasn't supposed to be able to do and I locked on to that enemy who was currently moving around the railing and it had seen me and I basically rolled towards him because I used him as an aiming point and it worked. So I got over here. Oh, hello. And this seems to be new. Oh, yay! Hey, oh, thank you. I wonder what my note is like getting so much activity. All right, so that's just the pit. Let's go out here. That's where I killed him. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go in this room. So apparently I have been in there before. Uh, but you see there's no staircase and I'm kind of trapped in here now. Luckily I have a bold hunter's mark. Uh, he appears to be eating somebody. Oh, I did go in here. Yes, of course I did. Take that. All right, so <laughs> yeah, I really hope I can get that treasure chest because I'm going to be very heartbroken if I cannot. So this is my only recourse is going up this ladder and seeing where it takes me. And I already killed these dudes, yes. Uh, I could maybe perhaps take the elevator. I think that's probably what I was supposed to do. I love the knee brace of the decorative hunter garb. It's pretty cool. Really? There you go. Oh. Okay, let's check out this. All right, definitely don't want to jump off that. Good to know. Hmm. Death count 10. Wow, that was a one hit KO trap. 
Cool. That was uh, awful. <laughs> and I saw it and I immediately... Oh, that was terrible. Okay, I'm going to cut here while I get back to my blood echoes. I'm back. Got my blood echoes. Really easy to get back here once I uh, essentially realized how to get there. So that is a lovely... Blue elixir, that's strange. Not quicksilver, but oh, hello. Alright. We're gonna take a little detour. And kill this hunter. Alright. Fudge! He is easy to stagger. Gosh, shit. Really? Dick. He was tough. Okay. He's the guy I'd been seeing. Five sedatives, really? That's it? Okay, let's go ahead and continue our... Uh... Lobby thing waits ahead. Alright, so that is a way to go, but uh, this may be another way to get brain fluid, so let's talk to it. It. I'm so happy she can hear the sound of the great ones. I'm a robin. Will I ever grow up and Aww. become an egg? What say you? Lady Maria. Lady Maria, say something. Anything. Lady Maria, will I ever say something? Yay! We got more brain fluid. Oh, and she's re-conformed herself. Reanimated, sort of. Okay, good. Alright, let's continue this way then. So I could go that way. Do I need to? I still need that chest, but I think it's a level up, level higher. Alright, second brain fluid get. And we can deliver that to Adeline as soon as we are done exploring. That just failed. Interesting, they don't seem to see you. Oh my god, there are a lot of enemies. Time for lures, yeah. When my controller actually cooperates and I get that lunging attack, it's pretty good. The jumping attack. Stupid head. I don't know why they're laughing. There you go. <laughs> 
Just keep killing, just keep killing, just keep killing, killing, killing. Breaks a wheelchair, does it? I wanted to... There you go. Props to you, my friend. Props. do really like that jumping attack. Beware of the dead. Like you? No, that's where I got an item. So I've been in here. Ah! Ooh, I thought that was going to happen again. So this is where the blobbies are. And I've already been in there, so let's climb up. I don't feel like killing them again. The blobbies! There's that treasure chest. Yes, I can get it again. Thank goodness. Really? That failed. I guess that it's bad. That's a bad angle for the floor. All right, let's see what's in this treasure chest that I left to open just so you guys could see me do it. A fine strike damp blood gem. I don't know if that will be any use to me. Excuse me, pardon me. Let's go up. More ladders, okay. This is a different ladder because we climbed that one beyond it. You see the bells. So is there a reason to be up here? Oh, in case you need more brain fluid, I suppose. Uh, so I guess what I'm going to do then is cut here. Because we can get to the boss. I don't really want to die to a crow. Uh, but I'll, I'll cut here and go back to Adeline, and we shall, uh, yeah. Get that quest going again, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we are back with poor distressed Adeline to give her more brain fluid. Because that's please. just what she needs. I beg of you, please. I need it. I need your... Yes, that's it. Let me have it. I do a good impression of that, don't I? <laughs> uh, oh, I can hear it. Yes. The sound that guides me. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You have saved me. Take this charm. Lady Maria gave it to me, but it is all I can offer, other than my own blood. The balcony key. Please, do not abandon me. I promise to do good. I find these characters in the research hall so very pitiful. In a, uh... Well, in a pitying sort of way. I really feel for them. Oh, hello. Do you hear that? The sticky sound, as clear as day. Slip, slop, drip, drop, slip, slop. How extraordinary. Do you think that water drips even down deep below at the bottom of the sea? Can you hear it? <laughs> We have more blood. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to have to use her blood yet again until uh
she uh, asks for yet more brain fluid. But let's go ahead and take a look at that key we got as well. Key to the balcony on the first floor of the research hall. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower gave this to the patient Adeline. Maria had hoped Adeline would find comfort in the faint breeze that carried the scent of flowers from the outside. But Adeline couldn't fathom her intentions. What a kind gesture. What a beautiful gift. <sighs> Lady Maria seems to be a very tragic character. So, let's go ahead and use this. And I will cut while I go back and talk to her and I'll just keep going through blood. I don't think you need to see me get her blood anymore, actually, because you've kind of seen it. She just says the same thing, take my blood, and then it, if you don't use it, I can't give you any more. It breaks the tenets of being a blood saint. So I'm just going to keep doing that until we get to her dialogue where she asks for more brain fluid. All right, guys, we're back. And all she said each time I got her blood uh, thrice was drip drop, slip slop, and then she would giggle insanely, as she is doing right now. And you will notice she is no longer in her restrained chair. Oh, hello. One last time. Will you fetch me? It seems she has one last time. evolved as far as she is going to go. Mushy fluid that will make me whole. The sticky sound whispers to me, so very close, right into my ear, in my head, just a head, that's all there is. I need my baptism. Please, I beg of you, I want to be something. <laughs> For a game that's not heavy on dialogue. The voice acting and the writing is just top-notch. <laughs> Except blood again. Please, give a sticky sound. Ah, or perhaps I'm already brimming over. <laughs> Okay, so this last brain fluid is a bit tricky to find. You take the brain fluid from her, and then you can give her her own brain fluid. Delicious. Uh, uh, I see a shape. My guide, I see your voice. Clearly as it bends and bleeds. And we get the milkweed rune. My own revelation. Just for me. <laughs> Thank you. For everything, really, I used to be nothing. <laughs> ah, humanity's desire to ascend to the Great Ones. And she dies. Uh, I don't seem to be able to grab it. I don't think there is one, but let's look at this carol rune she gave us. Milkweed. Hosts phantasms as a lumen wood. So, the, as I mentioned in a previous episode, the phantasms are essentially familiars uh, of the Great Ones, and they imbue your weapons with arcane power. And this milkweed rune apparently puts phantasms in your head, and they are part of the brain fluid. So, the carol rune effect is a small increase in item discovery, which really isn't much of anything. But I will show more of the uh, the milkweed rune later on when it becomes more prevalent. But it doesn't seem there's a, any sort of special item. That's just a candle. So we have one last vial of Adeline's blood. That's all that's left of her. And we got the rune from her. So her side quest is complete. And if you remember, we got the balcony key. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what it's like. So 
So this is the balcony. Isn't it lovely? And I'm going to switch to this because they are weak to thrust, I think. Now this is actually where we fought the living failures in the main game. This is the Lumen Flower Garden. And she just apparently wanted Adeline to be able to sit out here and find some comfort in the pretty view. Because isn't that gorgeous? And to smell the flowers. And she didn't get to. And that she didn't understand what the key was for because she was too far gone in her madness already. And I find that just absolutely heartbreaking. There's an item all the way over here, it seems. So let's fetch that. Ooh, a nice kin cold blood. Man, there's a lot of these guys. And they all seem to be tending the lumen flowers. I suppose I should be more specific. This isn't exactly where we fought the... Uh, the li uh, no, I, did I say living failures? I meant the celestial emissary. The living failures were coming up. But the celestial emissary. But we are not actually... Since this is sort of a mirrored world of that, this is not technically where we fought them. So I guess we'll just uh, kill all these dudes. Arcana holy shit do they have arcane attacks God damn Oh my goodness gracious That is a uh, fierce and awful and it seems that there is an item there on that chair so I basically have to kill them all So let's just kind of kill the gardeners Yeah, that is an item. Haha, invulnerable. I'm going to roll like I've never rolled before. I am Link in The Legend of Zelda. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna cut here so you guys don't have to see me, like, kill all of these people like this and I will come back to you once I've cleared the garden. I am back. Right down my time stamp. Um, what was interesting was that some had female screams and one had males, some had male screams so but let's see what this is. Oops. Ah oh, the black sky eye another hunter tool which may have been what they were using against me actually and it's an arcane move which means I can't use it because my arcane is eight. <laughs> But let's see. Black sky eye. Ugh. It's covered in uh, phantasms. Soft eye blessed by a phantasm. They were discovered through Bergenworth's contact with the arcane, but the in, in the end revealed nothing. Deep within the eye lies a vast stretch of dark sky that rumbles with an endless meteor storm. The slightest rub of the tiny orb and the rock will tumble and soar. So, perhaps not worth it for me, but I do like item collecting. So let's explore the rest of this. Uh, oh, I see. That's a window. Uh, actually, that's the window I probably burst out of in the alternate world in the main game. But let's see if there are any items around here. And then we'll go bursting through that window again. And then 
Anything here? No, it doesn't. There's no hidden paths. Unless it's, uh... Yeah, there are no hidden paths unless you're in the uh, Chalice Dungeons. Not like Dark Souls. Run and don't give up. Oh. <laughs> Jump off there! Alright, well there's nothing left here, so let's go see if we can throw ourselves through that window. Because that sounds like a good idea, right? Indeed I can! And this is exactly where we went to fight Abriatus. And we are right above the dormitory. Ah, and there is a treasure chest. Oh gosh, okay. Nope. Yay, I made it! Pulsing damp blood gem. It doesn't appear that there's anything on the other side. Really? What the hell? And now I'm just right back down here. I kind of want to leave a note right on this corner. Let's do that. Just because. It's not going to let me use it while I'm on this corner. That's lame. Alright, well... We have that key. So, let's go, uh... Open up the basement. Except I am not going the right way. I'm supposed to go with down, aren't I? Oh well. This is actually a perfect time to call this episode quits. Uh, and we will pick back up with using the basement key and uh, and then we're going to fight our bosses. So next episode is going to be boss heavy. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode, please thumbs up it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notifications bell. If you want YouTube to notify you every time I go live or upload a new episode, and follow me on Twitter if you like, at TYT Gaming, capital K, capital C. Let's see. Cheers, guys.